Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Autonauts. Oh boy, we got all the bot upgrades going and they're making. And now we're having the problem where a lot of these need the metal stuff, metal gears, metal axles, all that. And unfortunately, to make things like metal gears, metal axles, we need things like crude metal plates. A lot of bots actually need crude metal plates. We click this, look at all these bots that have to interact with crude metal plates. It's insane. So, clearly, these five steam hammers are not enough to keep up with this. So I think what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna go completely overboard here. We're gonna get, I think we're gonna go for, with 20. I'm gonna get 20 steam hammers set up to make metal plates because I'm getting to the point of this game where I noticed if something's not producing fast enough, I tend to just like leave it and go do other stuff instead of f fixing the problem that is I'm not producing enough of it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to fix that instead of just leaving this at five and just say, eh, eventually it'll catch up and fix itself. No, no, no. What we're going to do, we're going to massively, I guess we're going to quadruple our output of metal plates here and then maybe We'll also double our output of metal poles, although metal poles are full right now, but we'll have to see how that goes. So first thing we need to do is we need to start making a whole mess of steam hammers. How many do we got? So we have two. So that's seven out of the 20 we want. So we need another 13. So I guess let's start get going. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, come on. Get out the way. Six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11. Sure, that'll have to work for now. I'm not too sure if this goes... Actually, it might just go a little bit more south. 11, 12, 13. All right, so that's going to produce for quite a bit. So where do we want to put this? I'm thinking... I'm thinking we put it up here, and maybe we just get rid of this for now, because I'm not producing any more track stuff for now. And if I do, I can always just quickly like set this up down here or over here. Like, this is such a small building, it's not a huge deal if I kind of just plop it anywhere at this point. I could even, like, put it down here or something like that. I really don't want to put it here, obviously, because I can't move this metal ore deposit. And I really want to keep the furnaces nearby for that. So I think we're going to plop it up here. So, I guess let's start deleting some of this up. We can leave that pole there because we'll have to hook it all up to power. So let's grab this. Delete all of that. Get rid of that. Uh, let's move these bots. And grab this bot and come to me. And this bot can also come to me. Awesome. And now we need a 20 by 20 area for this. So what's the size of one of these? I can't even see. Ah, uh, great. Here, let's try it over here. The size of one is a three by three, right? So if we do three times five wide, that's 15. So we need 17 wide because the walls and then three by four is 12. So 14, that should be fine. 17 by 14, right? Cause then technically it's 15 by 12, which three each way should be five by four one extra space all the way around for the walls okay that should be good so we just plop that i guess anywhere and then let's actually leave that on and do we have walls we do have walls there we go and we have floor Ooh, we're short on floor we are short on floor Oh, wow, we are really short on floor. Floor always seems like, it's like, oh yeah, you have 200 floor. And then you realize that's such a small area. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I need to let this run for a little bit. This is one of those times where I just have to let it run. Cause no matter what I do, I can't make more plates without using plates to make said steam hammers to make more plates. So I do need to let this run for a bit. And then once this runs for a bit, I am going to get some more flooring set up. So that way we can start moving everything on over here. So let me take care of that and we'll be back. All right, we're back. So it's been a little bit. So what I did in the meantime, I deleted these out, 
put this whole area here. Move these five up here that we originally had. So they, these are all being used and the bots are just coming down here. So I want to kind of speed this up. Maybe put some more roads this way so that way they can walk a little bit faster. It shouldn't be too much of an issue for the other 15 that are about to go in here, considering we're going to make them all Mark three bots. Um, what else? So I got a lot of these hammers done. Looks like we got just a couple more getting the last of the flooring done. So let's actually just add that and finish that part. And there we go. Awesome. So now I should be able to start plopping these in here. I have 13. Perfect. And the last two would be 14, 15. So if I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and then fourteen, fifteen should be over there being made. Uh, I probably need more belt linkages. Ooh, I do. All right, let's get those made. In the meantime, while these are being made, I can work on renaming all of those just so that we can have that easy renaming system so that way I can easily point my bots to the correct machines. So let's see, I did one, two, three, four, five across. So then we'll just keep going with that. Also, let me set these to metal plates. That would help a lot. All right, let's go, let's go. And then a plate. All right, so what do I name this? Just crew, metal plate one. Okay, so metal plate six. So I'll just do metal plate space, copy that and six and then i should just be able to go to each one and go metal plate seven and so on and metal plate 20 there we go all right so we got 15 more set up so now we get to do the fun task of getting 15 more bots set up oh god i guess we want to give these bots speed upgrades most likely um, I was thinking about giving them power upgrades, but I don't think it's going to matter too much just because so the weird thing with the plates is it's you're taking a two crude metals. Each one costs two hand slots. So it's four hand slots just to get one metal plate. That's two hand slots in return. So even if these things have eight hand slots, that reduces down to only four hand slots because these take up two per. And then because these take up two at a time to make it, I can only make two metal plates at a time, no matter what, without doing a whole bunch of weird shifting with backpacks and things like that. And I don't think I want to mess with that too much right now. I think just having 20 flat out going is probably going to be more than fine. If for some reason this setup doesn't work, I can look at doing the whole backpack and power upgrades just to get a little bit more efficiency out of it but i don't think it's going to be necessary with all 20 of these bots however i do think it's probably worth it to give these guys never mind they're not getting speed upgrades we don't have that oh yeah i stopped everything i stopped a lot of this stuff from being produced so that way i could go ahead and get all of these done because each of these required eight crude metal plates to be made and I couldn't get that done with having all these components trying to be made and all these bot drives trying to be made so I did pause a lot of things so let me actually re-enable a lot of these so it should be ah, of course piggy whoa Autonauts fail oh there it goes oh see I clicked the game and it just went white and it says wow Autonauts is not responding I was like oh no all right so what was I doing Oh yeah, re-enabling everything. So bot upgrade makers are all good. Bot assembly should all be good. Um, what else? Why isn't speed upgrades going? Metal gears, metal axles are, yeah, those aren't being produced and that's not being produced because we turned off component makers. So let's restart those. And then we also have to restart. I turned off the bucket maker. There we go. So now they all should be going to get plates and stuff. Perfect. All right, so now let's get 15 bots to reprogram to crude metal plate makers. Crude metal plate six? Is that how I called them? Just I did crude metal plate and then the number? I did, nice. All right, so let's go through and get a bunch of these bots. Crude metal plate, you know what? Let's copy that and seven. 
Please tell me this has legs. It does. Good metal plate eight. And number nine. Legs, you got legs? You got legs. Number nine for you. And what's next? Ooh, you got legs too. Pretty soon, I think we can work on getting our upgrader bots moved over to the forestry team. And then we can get our forestry team starting to be upgraded. I also kind of want to upgrade our metal workers too. Maybe we do that before forestry. Since everything is going in the way of metal right now. Might be better off if I upgrade metal workers first. As opposed to forestry. Especially like the miners and things like that. Get those guys upgraded. 13. Oh my god, we need seven more. I guess that's kind of a good thing. We actually had all of these bots pre-made. And then they just had to upgrade in place. It seemed to actually work out for us. My mistake actually paid off for once. Who knew? 16. Let's do number 17 here. And let's do 18. Ooh, nice. So far, they all have legs. I'm liking this. And when I mean legs, I mean they have upgraded legs, not that they didn't have legs before. 19. And the last one. Hey, look at that. It's 20. All right, so let's grab all of these fellers. Boop, 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 boop. All the way down to 20. And let's shove them in this group. I almost threw them in the wrong group there. All righty. So I got them all in this group. So now what do we need to do? Now, I guess we just need to copy paste programming for the most part. Hmm. Okay. So I need to grab number one. I think we actually already have this programming. Crude metal plate. There it is. Yep, we do. Cool. So now I can do number 10. We'll just go in order here. Crude metal. Where's crude metal plate? Crude metal plate. Pick. Crude metal pole. What? I just saw it. Where'd it go? Crude metal plate. There it is. All right. So now all we have to do is retarget this. Wait. Find nearest metal ore. What? That's not what I want. Right? I, I did select crude metal plate, did I not? Crude metal plate. Yeah, crude metal plate. Load it. There we go. I must have clicked the wrong one. We want to move to this crate. So that should pull out four of those. And then we can go deposit. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This should be number 10. We'll deposit all four. So that'll pop out two plates. And that's perfect. We'll pop out two and we'll go to that one. And now we need to move to this pallet. And plop those in there. And as you can see, we had like 80 plates in here. We're already down to 27. So we're using plates like crazy. So getting all of these online is definitely, definitely going to help us a ton here. Let's see, crude metal plate. A lot, a lot of reprogramming to do here. And select the building. That's number 11. That goes there. That goes there. That goes there. That goes there. Right? Did I do that right? Metal storage, metal plate. Get the metal plate from there. Add it. Okay, so I'm going to go through all these and hook all of these up. Because, yeah, that's a lot of tedious work. And we'll be back once I got this all done. And we'll see our final output. And we're programming the last one here. Finally, this took a lot. A lot of tedious work to do. All right, number nine. Good to go. And now we should have every bot. Wait, did I do that right? Is this one going? It is. It is. Cool. Okay. So now we should have all of these bots, all 20 of them, making metal plates like crazy. It doesn't look like any are stuck. So we should be good because a lot of these have been running for a while. So we should be pumping out plates like crazy. Oh, yeah. Look at that. So we're finally going up in numbers for metal plates. So that is great. And that's even with... Let's see. The metal bucket maker, I believe, takes eight. Oh, no, it takes four at a time. Okay, what does this all take? 
Yeah, metal girders takes eight plates. Um, the flywheel takes eight plates. The firebox takes eight plates. The boiler takes eight. The gear takes two. We need a lot of gears. Metal wheels take two. And then the metal bucket takes four. And then on top of that, anytime we want to do bot upgrades, those are all metal plates and things like that. Got some metal plates in here for some bot upgrades, I think. Yeah, for the sensor upgrades, so that should be good to go. Did we actually restart these? I think we did, right? Yeah, those should all be going. What are they even waiting on? Oh, those are full. Oh, that one's made, waiting on metal gears, but now that we have a lot of plates, that should start to catch up here. Metal gears isn't something I'm going to worry about mass producing a ton of. Just because the only reason we're using it is for these bot upgrades. So once the bot upgrades are done, we should be good to go from there. Although maybe I do add one more. Because we did add one more axle and we do need gears and axles for these three. So that would make sense. So you know what we're going to do? Since we have this open space, it actually seems pretty nice to do a 20 for plates. 10 for poles and 5 for rivets. That might actually be a good ratio for everything. So let's get another 6 of these. And the reason I say 6 is 5 more for poles. And then we can do 1 more for gears. Because we are pretty short on that. So I said 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Alright. Let's get these out of there. I am going to need some more flooring because I do have to expand that factory. Oh, I think our research finished. I forgot to mention, we actually finished our mansion research for the next tier of shelter. So I started the next set, so that way Wolf wasn't going to waste. And I think that finished. Did it finish? It did! Hey, new cooking technology. Oh no, I hate cooking. Cooking's the worst! Pumpkin mushroom pie, apple berry pie, carrot cake, pumpkin cake, fish cakes, mushroom pudding, bread and butter pudding, apple cake, berry cake. Yeah, so we're definitely going to be doing the cake stuff. Because I don't think we're going to go between a bunch of different recipes like combined berries and apples and stuff. Oh no. How much wood do we have in here? Still have 16 in there. It's not too bad. All these are good. Perfect. How's our clothing doing? Are we actually getting any more? We have dresses here. Do I have... Oh. Do I have... I don't have a storage for dresses or for shirts. I do. Oh, I have 36 shirts. Nice. Okay, I just clicked that so we can get these little red exclamation points gone. So berry cake is just... Wait, berry jam. Berry cake is just berry jam and cake batter? What's cake batter? What do I mean cake batter? Oh. Oh! Good flour, butter, eggs. You know what? That's not even bad. It seems like a lot, but we have a crap ton of butter. We already have a crap ton of eggs. Right? We have eggs over here. We have a thousand eggs right there. I'm pretty sure we have another thousand eggs over here. We're definitely good on butter. What else was that? We're good on honey. We're good on clay dishes. We're good on good flour. Eh, good flour could actually use some work. But that's just because we only have these two. So maybe at some point we expand all this. We'd probably have to expand this whole thing downwards a bit. But that should be fine. That's not a huge deal. All right. So how are these doing? Why are there always bots blocking this? Please stop doing that. And then I can't place it anywhere. All right, so how's this working? Oh, wow. Getting tons of metal plates now. Oh, that's great. That is a thing of beauty. I love to see that. How's our metal doing though? Oh, that's kind of taking a beating. That's taking a beating, actually. Alrighty. How's everything else? We got... We got Wov going. You know what? Let's get our next thing of Wov going. Just so that way we don't have Wov sitting on the ground and piling up in this storage. So I guess next thing, wool blanket. I think we have a wool blanket down here. Oh, you know what? We're just going to move this. Instead of walking way over there, let's just move it up here and cheat. Give me this. Let's dump it in there. Easy enough. All right, better clothing is going to be there. All right, so now we're just waiting on these to all get done. Waiting on metal plates. They are slowly coming. 
So that is gonna take a bit. So what I want to do is expand this out by one. So I could probably actually do that with the walls. So if that's one, that'd be two, three, and then the wall there. And then I'm just gonna fill this in now. Oh, come on, you chickens! Get out of the way! Hey! Yeah, go up. There you go. No, 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 no! No, get out! Get out! He's gonna go to the right, isn't he? Yep, I knew it! I knew it! I knew he was gonna do that. But I wanna get this wall filled in before I delete that wall, otherwise these are gonna stop dead in their tracks. Alright, come pick up this chicken. Pick up- Oh no, the other chicken got in! What are you- what are you doing? I don't even know where- oh, yeah. Of course I come over here and you run. Alright, stay out. Alright, now I can delete this wall. And then I should be able to add some flooring in. And then, can I get some more flooring please? Actually, what's happening? Where's all our- We're out of logs?! Whoa, whoa! How did we pound through a thousand logs? What? Okay, so clearly... This is not gonna do it. Having one bot deliver 16 at a time is not gonna do- Where are all the bots? Why aren't they collecting? Wait... Am I the only one not seeing log collectors going? Did I not start them? Cause yeah, nothing is being added to this. Forestry, where are you at? Forestry... Log collector? Oh my god, I didn't start them. Are you kidding me? How many did I not start? Two are going. Three? No, they're going. Oh! Oh, is it because... They tried to move there and it wasn't there at the time? Oh, so it must have broke. So I think we have to keep this in the loop. Oh, that, that kind of- it does slow it down a bit. It makes sense though, since that does move, that we probably need to keep that in there. Will that fix that? I guess we'll see. We'll see if that fixes that. If not, we'll have to do the little escape there so they can move out in case it gets stuck. Alright, let's see if this fixes it. So the problem was we just weren't collecting logs. That's the problem. I did also add another log depositor because one taking two off of this every time wasn't quite working. Are these still not working? Find nearest train carriage. It's right there. Wait, so like... This is the type of stuff where I don't get why this isn't working. Find nearest train carriage. Right there. Train carriage crude. It's right there. Go. Oh, you know what it is? It's probably another one of these is broken. And has it like... Reserved, since that's apparently a thing in this game where like these things get reserved. So that's probably what's going on. One of these has it reserved. So if I clear these out, they should start going now. Okay, now are they gonna go? India? Where are you at? You're right there. You're just waiting to look at it. What? Hotel? Golf? Yeah, they're just staring at the thing. What is broke with this? Okay, it's not like it's registered or reserved. So it's something else. Until hands are empty, find the cart. It can't find the cart. Is it not in that area? Is it for some re reason registering outside of this area? Should I expand this? No, it's still not finding it. What? This is kind of making me want to go back to carts. Because what is this? Why? 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 Why would this not work? 
Hello? Can you fix, please? Unless something just broke with this guy. You know what? Let's do the thing where I'm going to save it and reload it, and we'll see if that clears it up, because sometimes that does clear things up. So let me save and reload it, and we'll come right back. Okay, so I reload it, and it seems to have fixed itself? I guess it works now? So all the bots are going. If I just let them go, and they all have the same programming that we just did, and now they seem like they work? It is so weird. So, like, the vehicles for me always seem to, like, bug out in that weird way where it acts like it's not there. And then just reloading it sometimes gets it to fix. I don't know why that's a thing. It's just really weird. So, it should get, be good. Ooh, all these finished. Nice. I was wondering why all this flooring wasn't getting done. Turns out we had no logs. So, now we have two bots doing logs, so it works out pretty well because... One gets two as it's depositing, the other one gets two. They actually ping pong back and forth really nicely. So that way we can empty that twice as quick. All right, he's off. Now let's make sure this works on the way back. Should work on the way back. I don't see why it wouldn't. Here we come. All right, and deposit. So, okay. So yeah, they are reserving it. That's why they deposit one, and then another one deposits one, then another one deposits one. It's because they are reserving it, like one at a time. But this seems fine. The other thing we could do is we could get another pallet here for logs and put them here. And then what we do is we get a bot that just moves the logs from the pallet to this train. That could be a thing, but I don't know if that's just like a temporary band-aid. I don't know if that's necessarily a fix. I think the true fix is to get multiple carts to merge onto this and see if we can get that setup to work. I really want to try that setup, but I think that's going to take a little bit of figuring out. So what I'm going to do is because you guys just saw me do 20 of these. I'm not going to drag you through me doing 10 more of these or five more of these for poles and another one for gears. So I'm just going to finish all of this in between episodes. And next episode, we are going to look at the shouting system for bots and try to get multiple carts on one track and see if we can get that working. If we can get that working, I think that'll be great. So we're going to give that a try on the next episode. So until then, take it easy, everyone.